this week's What's Going Around, we're talking about otitis externa, commonly known as swimmer's ear. Now, kids and adults alike are hitting the beach, we're jumping in pools, and we're getting water in our outer ear, which is leading to this infection. Let me show you on the big model here. On the big ear, we have the external ear, ear canal, eardrum or tympanic membrane, and the middle ear chamber. Now, what we're looking at is infection actually in the canal here where water gets in there after a swim, it sets there, irritates this very fragile skin, an infection from a bacteria sets in and you get pain, drainage, you may get some oozing and weeping out of the ear, and also the ear canal can close down tight and not allow sound waves to get down into the um, eardrum and you can get muffling of hearing. So if you have any of those symptoms, get into Centric Care. The doctor can look in there and tell if it is an outer ear infection or perhaps even a middle ear infection included and get you on antibiotic drops, which is the only thing that's going to clear this up. Now, there are over-the-counter drops available called Swim Ear. That contains alcohol only to help evaporate the water to prevent the infection. Once the infection is set in, you need those antibiotic drops. Now remember, if there, um, it's important to keep the water out of your kid's ear or out of your own ear this summer to prevent these infections. So try to get the water out after a swim, let it drain out, use those um, drops with alcohol in it to evaporate. Or you can also use a blow dryer set on a very low setting to help um, dry the ears out.